Hey guys, and welcome to the Hydros booth at Macna 2022. We're gonna have a couple new devices this week, including the XD, the Hydros Control X10, the Hydros IV. What exactly do those do? Well, as always, you can start with any of the Hydros Control devices and expand out from there. With the XD, we added three more drive ports onto there to give users more options for drive port accessories. Maybe you're out of drive ports and you want a little extra. Then we went a step farther and introduced the Control X10. With four variable speed liquid dosers on there, these dosers are high quality and can dose anywhere from 0.1 milliliters a minute all the way up to 100 milliliters a minute. So multi-function, multi-use is great for any aquarium setting we are attempting to dose in. The X10 also complements the Hydros IV quite well. The IV is an isolation vessel. It takes sampled isolated salinity tests, sampled isolated pH tests, and can test for alkalinity on any Hydros device that has a pH probe. All that's needed is three dosing pumps and a pH probe, and UR out test is set up and ready to go. So we were really excited to get that to the market because we know how much you guys have been asking for such devices. So this was just the tip of the iceberg. Let's take it over to Carlos to see what else is new. Thank you, Connor. Now, let's go ahead and release the Kraken. The Kraken is a power distribution device. Technically, what it does is it takes 24 volt power bricks and replaces them. You can have up to eight devices connected to the Kraken and they're all gonna be powered by a single super brick made by Meanwell. Now, Meanwell is the best company when it comes to creating power supplies. They have medical grade power supplies, they have industrial grade power supplies, and they also have consumer grade. So this one is a industrial grade power supply. So how it works is you take a pump or a light. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take that power supply and put it away and then connect the light directly to one of these red force ports, therefore replacing the power supply. Now, as I said before, the Kraken can take eight power supplies away and turn them into one single power supply. In addition to that, we also have a set of four 12-volt ports that can also replace 12-volt power supplies for a total of 12 power supplies that you can get rid of. Now, that's not enough. What we've done also with the Kraken is we have also added a 12-volt battery backup input. So you can use a lead-acid battery. It has to be 12 volts, but it could be any capacity. It could be 20 amps, it could be 75 amps, it could be 100 amp hours. And you can also stack them to create a battery bank. So what happens when you lose power is the Kraken pulls power from the battery. It'll actually turn everything off and then turn on only the outlets that you want to keep on. Now, up until today in this industry, batteries have been more of a one-size-fits-all, which is that if you have a small tank and you have a 2.5 amp hour battery, everything works great. But if you have a 300, 400 gallon tank, 2.5 amp hour is not gonna do much. And that's the reason why we at CoralView and at Hydros decided to give you access so that you can purchase this battery yourself and purchase the size that fits your system. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm actually gonna disconnect the Kraken so you guys can see how it works when the power's out. So uh, as I disconnected the power now, it's gonna take a few seconds for the Kraken to drain the power supply, and there it is. What happens now is, as you can see, the core view devices are all blinking green, telling you the status of the battery. At this time, the programming turned off the hydros lights, it turned off the light, the ice cap light, turned off the ice cap skimmer, but it keeps running the pumps. So I just reconnected the power to the Kraken. As you can see, everything is back on. So now the Kraken turned everything back on. At the same time, from the Kraken, now it is trickle charging the, the lead acid battery so that it's ready for the next time. So thank you again for joining us here in Milwaukee for MACDA 2022. We'll see you next time.